Yay, yay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's getting back in the booth. Um, again, directed towards the natural motion team, right? Um, this play is a great defensive play. There's nothing really wrong with this play. Um, but, like I said, player-on-player -player interaction, right, um, needs to be... Uh, needs to be really vamped up, revamped, or whatever, you know, it needs to be amped up, whatever word you want to use. It needs to be very apparent, and either the next backbreaker or even a patch. If you guys are that ambitious, please put this in, in the next patch. Um, okay, so this is, a, I guess, a stretch play with the ace formation, right? Play is designed to run here. Let's, let's show the play and put it in speed for you. Right? Great defensive effort. Right? There's nothing wrong with that. Great defensive effort. Right? Great defensive effort. Look, just gets off the ball, gets at me. Good. I like that. It's not a problem. I don't find that to be a problem. The only problem I see, I'll say, is the interaction. Okay? Um, who was it? Uh, Actually, how the play was diagrammed, right? O'Hara is supposed, you know, it's a, it's a power offense play. Power offense is, you know, everybody blocks kind of like in the zone, and they all block towards one direction, and everybody is moving. And that's, that's what this play is supposed to be, okay? So since I'm running to the right, you see how, how you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just explaining it to everybody else. Everybody's going to block to the right, right? Everybody blocks one guy over, right? So, O'Hara, see, there you go again. See, what, with the other video that I showed, right, um, the one prior to this or the other one, um, another critique, I said that the offensive linemen, they need, the first thing they need to do is go forward, right? Go forward, whatever way, go forward. They're not supposed to be standing up. The first thing they do, stand up, right? That's the problem. That's the biggest problem right there, the fact that they stand up instead of running forward, like the defensive linemen. The defensive linemen, they have the advantage. They won, they, they, look, look at uh, look at 95, the guy who kills me, kills this play. He gets up, he runs forward, right? He runs straight, look, look at the difference that is. Look, he's already penetrated me. Already penetrated me, ha ha, giggity giggity. But he already, already, is disrupting this play already a half a second after snap anyway so if if all the offensive linemen instead of just standing up sh straight first will actually make the point of contact I think that will fix a lot of the running problems right there but anyway so my main point is interaction okay so right here uh, Schubert he misses his block right which is fine I don't I don't have a problem with players missing their blocks as long as, long as it's not constant and as long as you know it's not an exploit or whatever right so he misses his block instead of him he kind of puts his hand on him a little bit right but then he runs after him right I would love to see if he misses his block I would love to see him keep reaching at him in a very realistic manner right keep reaching at him try to do something to 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 interact with this defensive lineman so that he I know he missed his block but just to show that he missed, that he knows that he missed his block you know just more interaction you know he he got off the ball late right and that's fine but you got to have a little bit more interaction that was my main point. I guess it got uh, switched to a more pressing need, which is the offensive line. Their first animation should be this way, not up, not standing up. You know, I'll show that again. That really needs to be fixed. That's the first thing. See, they stand up. They shouldn't, they shouldn't be standing up at all, okay? Um, but, yeah, more player-on-player -player interaction. Peace. I'm out. Again, thank you so much for listening.